hello guys welcome to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to show you how to change keyboard for hp 15. the first thing you have to do you have to take out all the screw at the back you have to open the, the laptop After you remove all the screw at the back, you remove this one. So you have to take out these things. There is a screw here also you need to remove. Take out this one also. There's another screw here. Okay. Now you need to open the back cover. Remove the CD one. There's another screw at the CD one side there. No, you need to open also. Two screw. Now you need to take out the back. You need to open the cover right on. Open it from the back. After you open it, you slide it. You just slide it small like this and you move the back cover. Now you need to take out the motherboard. You have to remove all the screw on the motherboard. So many screws here, you have to be very be careful and know how you take it out. Disconnect all the cables. Disconnect the keyboard cable. Disconnect the mouse. Okay, disconnect the LCD. Okay. Disconnect the charging system. Okay, disconnect the speaker. Alright. Now you need to take out the motherboard. You move all the square or the motherboard. The motherboard screw and the outside screw is not the same. Motherboard screws are all small small. So many screws on the motherboard, you have to very be careful. Don't take out the processor screw, leave it. All the processor screw you have to leave it. Don't take out. Just take out the motherboard screw. You take out the processor fan. Disconnect the cable. Remove the processor fan. Disconnect the Wi Fi cable. And remove the motherboard easily. Disconnect this cable also to this uh, memory card side. Just remove the motherboard. Now you need to take out this other motherboard memory card side. And the external Wi Fi adapter is there. And some 2 USB. You have to take it out. Disconnect the power switch. Take this one out. Remove the speakers. Take out the speakers. Now you need to remove the LCD. You need to disconnect it. You need to separate the LCD from the from the keyboard side. So you remove these two screws here, here and here. Then you place the laptop up like you want to open it a bit. Then you put it down. This uh, inches will come up, and you turn the inches like this. Okay, all the two inches. Then you remove the keyboard side. 
Okay, you take it out. Okay, you take it out like this. Okay. Now you have to remove the LCD and put it one side. Remove the power switch. This one, if you like, you can take it out. If you like, you can leave it there. Or still remove it for safety. Use the CD ROM connector. And remove this addicts also for more safety. Okay. Now you need to remove this metal. You have to take it out. And you take it out firstly, okay? So you start by using the pen and and ease it up like this. You have to remove it firstly because that's the only option you have. That's the only way to open it. Not that way you have it. It's the only way. This is the only option you have. You have to take it out firstly. This side already fixed some inches this side, so you have to very be careful when you open this side. Okay. Same goes to the keyboard also. You have to take out the keyboard the same way, firstly. This is the keyboard. Take it out firstly also. Okay, you remove the keyboard also. Now we need to fix the new keyboard. You need to replace the new keyboard. Okay. Make sure the keyboard is rest properly. Because you are going to use the rubber, you are going to use the sodium to fix all those clips back. After you fix the keyboard like this, you check the keyboard and see if it's a bit straight. Okay. Now you need to use sodium and soldering all the legs back. You have to make sure you're shooting all the robbers, all the robbers. So many robbers into shooting all. Be careful, this is there not to touch this one when you touch the keyboard to damage. Some of the clip you leave it for the outside, 
for the outside metal some you fix it Very be careful this is not to touch this cable. Make sure you fix all the clip. After you fix the keyboard on, it's now it's time to fix the metal on also. You have to do the same thing also. You have to fix all the clip. So you start by fixing it first properly first. Make sure all the clips go in. fix it properly inside then now you need to use the solder to solder everything inside all the same like i do the keyboard you make sure you solder everything make sure you should get all the all the clips when you should again, you have to press it with your hands so that the, the clips will fix properly. It's not hot, don't scare to put your hand there. It's not that hot, you just touch it. Don't scare to put your hand, it's not that hot. It's just to make the clip fix properly. Make sure you fix all the clips after you finish fix all the metal all the clip okay you make sure the keyboard everything fix properly okay then now you have to fix it on the ltd you have to fix everything back how you take it out so you slide this one first in like this okay you close the inches you close the inches on top this one so you slide it in but you don't forget you have to fix the charging system first before you close this one in make sure you fix the charging system first like this then you slide this one in to close on top of the charging system okay so now you need to put all the screw you, you the screw you take out from the inches first make sure you put those two screw here and here and here you understand two screws Need to fix everything back okay <laughs> fix the speaker <laughs> fix 
it's the network cable. You fix the LCD cable. Fix the charging system cable. Okay, you need to take out this one back. Because you need to fix the switch. You need to fix the switch under there before you close it. Open this one inches and fix the switch. This is the switch. You need to fix it here. Put the screw for the switch. Fix the switch. Then you fix back the charging system down there. And we place the screw back. Okay, because if you don't fix the switch, you cannot have access to on the laptop. So you have to fix it. Okay. Pass the power cable. Make sure you fix it properly. Okay. Now you need to fix this small motherboard here. Where the uh, internet cable connect in the memory card side. Connect the switch cable. You put a screw, you move there to screw. You fix the CD-ROM adapter. You fix its own screw also. Okay. You fix the motherboard. Make sure you fix it properly. Make sure all the cables are upstairs, up, so you can fix them properly also. Because any cable you, you, you forget to fix, it will affect the laptop somehow. You fix some of the screw on the motherboard. Okay. Now you need to fix, fix all the cable you move. You fix the Wi-Fi cable first. Make sure you fix it properly. If you don't fix it properly, well, the Wi-Fi will become very weak. You fix the speaker cable. If you don't fix it, no sound will come out. Okay. You fix the charging system connector if you don't fix it the laptop will not charge you fix the LCD cable if you don't fix it no display will come to the LCD make sure you fix it properly you connect the small motherboard cable if you don't connect it the laptop will not on from the switch
you fix the CD-ROM connector. If you don't fix it, the CD-ROM will not work. Okay. You fix the mouse cable. If you don't fix the mouse cable, the mouse will not work. Then you have to fix the keyboard back. If you don't fix it, the keyboard will not work perfect. Make sure you fix it well. Okay. You fix the addix back. Make sure you slide it in like this. And you fix the addix cable. If you don't fix it, the, the windows will not boot, will not open. You don't see any windows. Make sure you fix it properly. Okay. You have to fix now the processor fan. Make sure you fix it properly. You place the screw. Connect the processor fan cable. After you fix all this, you make sure everything is fixed properly before you put the back. After you fix everything, I need to fix the back cover. You slide it from the back. You slide it in like this from the back before you rest it. And you close the phone. After you put the back, you have to put all the screw back again. You start with this big two screw, don't forget, because you have to put them down before you put the CD ROM. After I fix the two screw, now you have to fix the CD ROM. Make sure you slide it in. Okay. Now you need to fix all the screw back. You have to make sure you put all the screws. After you put all the screws, don't forget there is two screws here inside those rubbers. You have to put them before you put the cover. Okay? You put them first before you put the cover. Then when you put the cover now, you slide the cover in perfectly. Okay? Then you put their own screw. Okay, then you put this other one also, the same thing. Make sure it's fixed properly. Then you put this on screw also. Okay. Now you need to own the laptop and test it. You press the power. The laptop is on. The laptop is on. You need to wait the laptop to boot. Finish. After the laptop boot finish, you have to open Microsoft Word and test the keyboard. Now you need to test the keyboard. You see? The keyboard all is working. Everything is perfect. It's okay. Hello guys. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.